In this video, we will be setting up the Faro localizer to be used in conjunction with the Faro Focus 3D. Benefits of using the Faro localizer include increased scanning productivity in medium and large indoor projects, live on-site registration, indoor positioning without GPS signal, real-time mapping and registration of scans, easy on-site navigation, remote control via integrated WLAN, Faro Localizer features indoor GPS, real-time registration, compatibility, and portability. When assembling the Faro Localizer, it is good practice to wear an anti-static bracelet. To assemble the Faro Localizer, flatten a dolly so all arms are locked in position and the wheels are fixed. Erect the tripod two-thirds and fit in the dolly. If you have a quick-release connector, as seen in Figure 1, remove the central bolt. Remove the quick release and screw the original double-ended 3-8 bolt supplied with the tripod back into the tripod. With the localizer oriented, as seen in Figure 2, slowly lower it on the tripod and locate the 3-8 bolt to the corresponding hole in the localizer, and turn it clockwise until it is firmly attached. Remove the 4X M5 cap head screws holding the quick release to the base of the scanner, as shown in Figure 1. Using the supplied Torx 5 key tool, remove the three screws holding the automation plate in place, as per Figure 2. Attaching the Faro Scene Place the Faro Focus on the localizer and make sure the automation scanner is in line with the automation adaption hole on the Faro Focus. Using the 4x M5 cap head screws, screw the localizer to the Faro Focus using the Allen key provided. Everything should now be secure. Here is a checklist of final items. To connect to the Faro localizer, open the Wi-Fi option on your computer and locate the localizer. Connecting to the localizer will prompt a password. This will be the password used for the Faro Focus 3D. To install the localizer, open Scene, navigate to App Center, click Install, and open the Scan Localizer file. Once open, test IP and link scanner to be sure the localizer is operating. You may need to update the IP address under Scanner Connection. Testing IP will aid in this process. Once completed, save the settings. Once setup has completed, and the connection and status are ready, you may start a scan. Once the scan is finished, you may move the localizer to another location and scan the area once again. The green dot on screen states that a scan has taken place, while the purple is where the new scan will be taken. Once the scans are complete, the program will attempt to register the images. You are given the ability to make any manual change at the following screen. Once satisfied, click Yes and Finish.